Form and technique make a big difference and there are some tips that will get you headed in the right direction. So here we go. The main thing is the paddle. Highly overlooked, not even talked about, but if you can't paddle, you're not gonna catch waves and then you're not really a surfer. First thing about paddling properly. You know how a boat sits in the water and rides? It doesn't sit perfectly flat, but it's just up a little bit. The nose of the board is just up a little bit. Think about that when you're paddling a surfboard. And you don't wanna be flailing side to side as you're moving your arms. Your arms should be the only thing moving. Keep your legs together. You don't want anything hanging over. Anything hanging over is gonna cause drag and it's gonna make you go slow. You wanna be streamlined as possible. We don't want alligator arms. We don't want the little T-Rex hands that are just tickling the top of the water. That ain't gonna do anything. I need deep paddles and pull all the way through that stroke. So you got the paddle down, you're flying up and down the lineup, but the thing is, it's catching the waves. This can be really tricky for some people because you're reading the ocean. This can take time in different waves in different locations all break differently. So a lot of times familiarizing yourself with the line and familiarizing yourself how the water's moving, how the waves break in, will help you to catch waves. As you see that wave approaching, you're gonna wanna turn around, aim the direction of the way the water's moving, and paddle your butt off. And try to match the speed and momentum that that swell is traveling to give yourself the best chance to catch that. Once you feel the momentum of that wave pick you up, now it's time to stand up. You wanna put your hands on your rails, push up just like you're doing a push up, and pull your legs underneath you. Your back foot is gonna be two feet from the tail, could be one, whatever feels comfortable back there. And then the front foot is gonna be in the middle of the board. Your knees are gonna be bent, and you're gonna be what I like to call a little warrior stance. You're not gonna be standing straight up and you're not gonna be squatting like you're going to the bathroom. You're gonna wanna be right in that middle. Think like someone's trying to push you over. And how would you want your stance to be if someone was trying to push you over? So once you've popped up and you're in that stance, there's no right or wrong way to have that stance. Whether it's goofy foot, which is the right foot for it, or regular foot, which is the left foot for it. But what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have one of those stances. I don't want the Duke Hanamoka with the feet together. That's tippy. You're tipping over for sure. You want that side stance, crouch down, and solid. One way is gonna feel better than the other. The one that feels better and more you're more comfortable with, that'll be your decision. Last but not least, I'll throw in a little tip. And that's get a surf instructor. If you have the money and it's available, do it. You don't have to do it for a long time. It's just to learn some fundamentals and they can be very helpful and really help you with that learning curve. The beginning stage of surfing can be tricky. And so if you can spend a little money on that surf instructor, it'll have you loving it a lot quicker. This is just the beginning in one of the more difficult phases of surfing. But I recommend pushing through, it gets easier, and there's a lot of benefits that come from it. So get out there and shred.